Hello and welcome to the recap for the 1st to the 7th of July. So for this week's recap we have the Sky Golem Tier 6 the Armor Boss Previews, Arena System Revamp, Reduced Valor Cost of Gear, XP Boost and Legendary Cloaks. Overall there is quite a few pretty cool things going on. So the first thing is the Sky Golem. Now this was originally called the Sky Claw and it's been scrapped. It was meant to come in 5.3 as a thing for engineers but no. Instead this uh, is a recipe that drops in Engineer Jard's Journal which is a random drop in the veil. You'll need 30 living steel and 30 jarred's peculiar energy sources in order to make it. Now these are on daily cooldown so it's going to take quite a while before you can get yourself a sky golem still. It looks pretty damn cool. So uh, it's a mount, it can fly and you can pick herbs while you're mounted which is a nice little quality of life kind of deal. So yeah that's cool right? Now the next thing is tier 16 armor so I've done a whole bunch of videos on the tier 16 stuff that we currently have and overall I think it's a pretty crappy tier. Um, in general, but that is with the exception of the Paladin armor. I think the Paladin stuff really looks awesome, but overall though, I just think it's a bad tier. The, the so much stuff is just so unbelievably either meh or just terrible. It's like their philosophy of making armor this tier has been throw on spikes and random spell effects and it will look cool, and that's just not the case. I I don't know, I, I miss... I miss their creativity when it comes to uh, tier armor sets, especially since you're sending off the expansion with this tier. I mean, really, guys. Ugh, should have spent more time with it. But anyway, on to the next thing, boss previews. So I've done three boss previews this week, therefore the Cor Corcoran Dark Shaman, Malkarok, and General Nazgrim. Overall, they look pretty cool, so yeah, I think it should be fun. From what I've seen of the fights in the Siege of Orgrimmar, they are certainly they certainly seem pretty good. So hopefully it'll be another Throne of Thunder quality of raid. Now the next thing is the arena system revamp. So arena teams are gone. You can queue for arenas with anyone in your party, and instead of having a team matchmaking thingy based yeah, instead of the matchmaking being done off your team rating, it's now based off the average personal rating of the team players. So, um, yeah, that's that still keeps teams fair and stuff, and it should hopefully get more people into PvP. And, you know, to those people who are, you know, really established PvPers and think, oh, it's just letting the casuals in, at the end of the day, the, the rating system will mean you never see them. So, really, it, it should be fine. Now, the, uh, the next thing is the reduced cost of Valor gear. So, they are reducing the cost of all 522 epics by 34% and making all of the 496 or lower epics purchasable with justice points and importantly without the uh, the need for rep so that cuts dailies out of the mix doesn't it which is good now the ratio of justice to honor is changing from 500 justice to 200 sorry changing to 500 justice to 250 honor this is to make gearing up for pve via buying pvp gear less efficient it previously was the most efficient way however with the changes here with justice points really you know you just want to buy that those justice epics now the uh, sick thing that we have to talk about is the XP boost potion. Ugh. So this is indeed going to be a micro transaction. We don't know if it's in the main regions like, you know, NA, EU, Oceanic, but they are ex uh, experimenting with them. Now, what does this mean? Essentially, this means Blizzard will have an in-game store where you can probably connect it to your Battle.net balance, your Battle.net wallet, whatever that thing's called, and you can click a button and buy an XP boost. Now. This is something which will, of course, be familiar to those of you who play free-to-play games. And the point of a free-to-play game is you can play the basic thing for free. But if you want to do things faster, you need to pay. Maybe if you want to unlock some special content, you need to pay. And that's fair, because you're getting the game for free. Now, over the cost, or, you know, the life of a game, you know, to play it to its fullest extent, a, a free-to-play game will probably be more expensive than anything else. Especially when you when you look at the payment models and how they seem to nickel and dime you for just about everything. Now, Blizzard are not going free to play. You're still paying your $15 or £10 a month, but they also want to be able to be like, Hey, I know you're paying you know, for the full a la carte experience, but we're going to sell you more stuff. And, you know, there was the Mount Pit Store and that kind of thing, and I remember the Sparkle Pony controversy back in Wrath. But at the end of the day, that doesn't affect gameplay a lot. I mean, it does a tiny bit because it's a mount, but, you know, it's not like it's something, you know, going at that mount flying speed is an exclusive thing to people who buy. It's not. It's mainly cosmetic. Yeah, it's all cosmetic stuff in the mountain pet store. And I remember people were making slippery slope arguments all the way back then. 
And were they right? I mean, if Blizzard does start doing XP boosts while keeping the subscription fee in the game, it's double dipping, it is using two payment models. I mean, if you look at any other MMO, it's either like, I don't know, Dungeons and Dragons Online, where the game's free, you know, in general, but you pay for extra things. Now Turbine, who are the people who make that and Lord of the Rings Online, do a very good job. You either have that, or you have Guild Wars 2, where you buy the box, or whatever, it costs 30 quid, and then there's microtransactions in it, it, microtransactions in it, but you don't pay a subscription fee. And then there's World of Warcraft, which will try to fuck you over for XP boosts and stuff, which you can buy, and then, um, and then charge you for a subscription fee. Now, people, you know, people say, XP boost, right, so this, you know, it doesn't affect the end game, right, it just means you can acquire experience faster, well, fuck it, you know, if, if people were right about a slippery slope, slope argument, which is not an argument I like to make, because it's very hard to make one right, and if you don't, you usually fail, um, but what if there's an honor boost? Okay, you know, an honor boost, a valor boost, maybe Blizzard would say, well, the cap doesn't change, so it's like, it's not like anyone's, you know, at a disadvantage, right? That's fucking bullshit. So, yeah, I'm really wary of this, and I'm pretty pissed off that it's coming into my $15 a month a la carte gaming experience, which should not be... Ah, oh, shouldn't have things like this in it. Anyway, I digress. On to the Legendary Cloaks. Ah, oh, end it on a high note, right? So, the Legendary Cloaks are coming in. They look pretty cool. Uh, they, um... Yeah, so they have uh, crazy stats, which are very high, and a very cool uh, proc-like ability that will make them pretty, uh, hopefully pretty interesting to use. Now, they also have a cool spell effect, and uh, that's really it. The names, we have uh, Quan Li, Quan Ying, Gong Lu, Gina Kang, that, does, that sounds weird to me, Fen Yu, and Zing Ho, Zing Hao or something, I don't know. I can't speak Chinese. So... There we are, and that's it for the recap. Please let me know about what you think and stuff. Uh, that XP boost worries me. Like, the rest of the news this week is great, really cool stuff, but that XP boost just has me worried. So yeah, let me know in the comments what do you guys think. And while you're doing that, if you like the show, please hit that like button, it helps me out a great deal. And subscribe if you want to see more Warcraft news. I'll be doing a live stream, well, I'll be live streaming quite a bit over the next two weeks, because I have a free house for two weeks, so... I'll hopefully be a thing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.